Okay, now we'll do some matching on weapons to points. The best weapon for to use against for striking against the, the, the head is this weapon here. Temporal, the base of the ear, the jaw, moving upwards under the tongue, moving forward to here, turn sideways into a wedge, this way, mascarite. For to affect the collarbone, turned this way. All right? When somebody's punching, you use this movement, and that strikes off the brachial nerve. If you then strike inwards and upwards under the third rib, that causes an activation that blooms from the point of impact that way out across the body. You'll notice that it, didn't, it doesn't come up this way to include the head. It moves out that way across the body. That's because the main nerve here, the, the nerves that affect the face, don't necessarily come from here. They come from just below T1. Hmm? Now, on the legs, <clears throat> the best, the best uh, defenses, against kicks, against kicks, slaps to the inside of the leg here because that overstimulates the femoral nerve. High shoe, in here, to the, just below the knee. Slaps to the calf because it causes loss of contact with the brain when the nerve is overstimulated like that. So you wind up with a stumbling, the same as if they don't know where their feet are, and they actually don't. They've lost touch with them for the moment. Okay? For the body, direct and straight attacks the thumb like this, just here and here and here, not pushing up, but pushing down because that lowers the head. Okay? For the face, a slap, the thumb turned in like this and it's brought in that way. Now, if I slap him direct here, the head will move that way. If I slap him up, and backwards, then the body is going to move on a 45 degree angle. That's predictable. If you have a technique and you can predict the, the results, then you have a technique where if it connects, if it connects, you can destroy the person, irrespective of their experience or their weight or their size. Yep. Against the shoulders, the palm heel, because the palm here is the same shape as this here. So you strike, yeah? Now, the shoulders at the moment are unladen. They're not loaded, yeah? But if he lifts his arm to punch, okay, then the shoulder is loaded. So if I move across this way, that's going to turn the body in this way. If he's a fighter, that's going to be coming straight from my head, which I can predict. So if I strike to this, that's coming from my head. And if I lift my arm and move back, the body opens out like a flower. So what you're doing is you're creating a predictable situation, all right? When he is kicking, if I lift this upwards, then there is going to be a loss of balance. Doesn't matter how flexible he is. Doesn't matter if he can kick straight up over his head. I am creating a predictable situation. So I move this up and then move in and strike him with the elbow and I've grounded him, yeah? If I slap in and down, then the leg will land over there, all right? So that's predictable, all right? As long as I know the proper method of using the slap. If I don't know, I'm wasting my time, yeah? He's moving forward with a kick. Now, if I slice the defense, then he's going to land with his back to me. Again, it is a predictable situation. I have created a predictable situation.